Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I am your host, TC, and today I will be reviewing the Yes Standard. This board is equipped with Yes's Cam Rock 343 profile. So what that means is it's basically just cam rocker where you have camber in between your feet, rocker on the nose and the tail. What that's gonna do is that camber is gonna give you all that pop, drive and power you're looking for. And that rocker is gonna help with float, buttering and ease in and out of turns. This board is coming in a 149, a 151, a 153, a 156, a 159, a 162, and for those big dogs, a 167. I rode this board at Copper Mountain where it was a flat light day. A little bit later in the day, the sun did try to poke out, but it really didn't last too long. The snow started off pretty firm. As it went on though, it did soften up to where just the top layer really got soft and then it stayed firm underneath so you could lay your edge in really nicely and really trust that edge and there was a pretty decent wind but luckily it was just a tailwind so hitting that off of jumps i really didn't have any problems with getting blown around or anything like that when we're talking the overall flex on the standard it's coming in at the middle of the road maybe slightly above that but the nose and the tail are going to be softer due to that rocker in it when we're talking that underfoot flex when you're torsionally flexing this thing it feels about what the overall flex does it's not going to put too much of a fight but you are going to feel a slight resistance there now if we transfer over into the stability portion it is going to be a stable board it is lively but has some damp tendencies to it where when you're on a smooth groomer or anything like that you don't feel the vibrations coming through the board but when you're in like that chundery section, it's gonna get bounced around a little bit more and you're gonna feel that just a tad bit more. When you're loading this thing up to Ollie, you'll notice that the tail is gonna be slightly softer than that midsection. So when you are loading it up, it becomes a little bit easier. Now, that being said, it does return that energy well, so it doesn't feel like you're on a rocker board or anything like that where that energy is still there and that tail is so wide that it gives you a nice stable takeoff zone where it doesn't feel washy or anything like that. Now when you're landing off a of side hits or or just a straight up ollie off a roller, it feels really, really good. Since it's so wide, it doesn't want to dig in or anything like that. It just wants to land flat based and pretty much just keep cruising. And that goes straight into the jumps as well, where you can let the jump do the work or you can do it. It's really up to you, a little bit of personal preference there. I enjoyed just popping this thing just because that's how I like to hit jumps and it was super fun. Felt really good on the takeoff. I could still keep this nose pointed on the landing and carry all my speed into the next jump where I just kind of wanted to live on the jump line with this thing. It's nice and stable and it really enjoys being in the air. Since you're here, you might as well like, subscribe, click that bell, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of the scheduled programming we have coming out. Buttery on this board actually surprised me quite a bit where I didn't think it was gonna be as butterable as it was, where I could just press into this tail, not really shift my weight all that far back. I could even keep it before the contact point there, and it's still gonna press for me. Same with on the nose as well, where high-speed butters on this thing were super fun. It was nice and poppy on the way out, so I could feel free to go 180 and do a nose press and just know that it's gonna help me on the way out, especially over rollers it was a blast and that's going to go straight into jibbing where this thing handled rails surprisingly well to me sliding them sideways was really catch free like just because it is so wide if you get a little far forward a little far or yeah you get a little far forward a little far back it's not going to like kick you out or try to bite too hard just because of how wide it is it felt really good it actually held me right in the middle of the board as well and when I was pressing on this thing, on the, whether that be the tail or the nose, I did feel some resistance, but honestly, it really wasn't that bad. I was still able to hold that press throughout the whole thing. If you're a little worried, just come in a little bit faster and you're gonna be all good to go. The first thing I noticed on this board when I was carving it is that they did mellow out that mid bite. So if you look back at previous models of this thing, you could really see that dig in. And honestly, I love that they mellowed it out because on those short, quick carves, it didn't feel super hooky or anything like that, where it was just nice and smooth. On those medium and larger carves, 
it didn't feel like this edge really wanted to dig in like it used to where you could feel it dragging and this one it didn't so like even in that fresh snow or like that heavier wetter snow when i would get it on edge it didn't feel like i was being slowed down or anything like that it will euro carve just keep that weight a little bit more back foot centered and you'll be okay it'll power right through that carve for you rider in mind this board was designed for that intermediate to advanced rider that pretty much just wants one board to do everything they're going to take it in the pow they're going to take it in the park they're just going to ride this thing everywhere and they pretty much want it to do everything are you looking for another way to get involved if you are head on over to angry snowboarder vip sure i could explain it here but we have a great video over there getting into it really in depth I mean, this board is called the standard for a reason. It is the standard for what a snowboard should be. And I fully agree with that. This thing can handle anything. It was super fun. It could be my daily driver, honestly. Like, it's wide enough to float and pow, but narrow enough to still be able to get edge to edge nice and quickly. I just really enjoyed this thing. It wasn't too hard to carve or anything. It wasn't too burly. It was just like in that sweet spot of stiffness and playfulness it was it was really a top-notch board i would say comparable boards the karua auto the solomon assassin and the ride shadow ban recommended bindings the yes drive the union force and the solomon hologram this has been my review for the yes standard if you like this board but you're still interested in the yes line i would recommend going checking out the playlist that we have set up for those boards